Hey Beauty Gems, in this video I am doing this Fulani hairstyle with the boho curls. Those are synthetic curls, but it's still cute though. Um, I started off with the knotless braids in the back and I just didn't want to do a repetitive motion of me doing it. So you can see I've completed several rows of knotless braids and now I'm showing you how I do knotless braids or at least one knotless braid in the back um i start off detangling it um i prefer blowed out hair but i can also do it on natural hair but it's much easier to slick down and start the form of a knotless braid when it is blown out and i just braid a little bit and then i just add in the extension hair when you do a knotless braid, it really goes by the density of your client's hair. If your client has super thick hair, sometimes you don't have to feed in such thicker parts. Sometimes you do, and it also depends on the size of the braid that they want. Um, for this client, she does have thick hair, so but because I am only doing a smaller section of a box, I don't need to add in that much. But as I get towards the end, I'll add more. The more I feel like her hair and her density with the synthetic hair um, is blended together, the more it thins out, then I'll add more just to keep the consistency of the size of the braid. I hope that makes sense. If you want to see a detailed video with a person with thick density and a person with thin density for knotless braids, let me know in the comment section so you'll know and I can show you the amount of hair that I use as I feed in. Usually if it's a client with thick hair, I usually add smaller pieces as I feed in for knotless braids. If it's um, a client with thinner hair or I wanna just say finer hair, I'll add thicker pieces depending on the size of the braid that they want their braids to be. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button like comment again comment again if you want to see and not let's break comment if you like it comment about anything any questions just comment um share and now you see me i'm at the top doing the fulani part this client had a vision that she realized i can't put my hair up in a ponytail it was going to be coming down all around her hair which is really cute i can't put a insert of what she actually wanted so you guys can kind of see but we ended up changing it because she wants to be able to put it all in a ponytail and she didn't want to have to bend her braids up to put it in a ponytail so we changed the design i actually pre-parted i told you guys pre-parting is a time saver so i pre-parted and kind of figured out another design and I, she just let me just freestyle what I wanted to do, and this is what the results were. So, yeah. Since my client hair is thick, I do not have to feed in synthetic pieces right away. I usually do it when I'm halfway through the cornrow, right before I get off the scalp, and then I'll start adding to build up the braid. If your client has fine hair or on the thinner side, you usually start with pieces almost immediately. Um, but it also depends on the look that you are going for. But as you can see right here, I'm just braiding in and I'm just braiding. And then you're going to see me start to add pieces and it may not be even halfway mark. I pretty much can tell because I am a seasoned braider. I know when to add, but the whole point is you don't want to not add in the amounts that you need because at the end of it you want to make sure all those braids are the same size when they flow off the scalp so you may see me add about two pieces then braid down or whatnot once I get to like the edges of my clients hair where it is typically thinner for anyone I'll add immediately so it all depends on the thickness of how big the client wants their hair as far as the cornrow and it also depends on the density of your clients here if you have more questions about that leave me a comment and i'll either make another video or i'll respond with any type of answer that you will need help with also when you're doing your clients hair 
make sure you ask if they want baby hairs out because you'll mess around and braid up the little parts that they want to hang out for the baby hairs. I like to do the grown-up hairs, not too much baby, but it all depends on what my client wants. If my client wants a ton of baby hairs out, I leave them out. This client requested to not have um, as much baby hairs out. This hairstyle can last about three weeks, maybe four if you really want to push it. But it all depends on how you maintain your hair when you are rocking this hairstyle. You need to be wearing some type of silk bonnet, silk scarf. I always say the braided one where you can kind of pull it over. I can also put that in the corner of the one I prefer for this style. Um, and then some girls, they'll either rock the cornrows at the top for two weeks and then they'll come back an another two weeks and get another different design. I hope that all makes sense. So they rock it how I initially did it for two weeks. And then after two weeks went by, they come back and they get the top done and maybe the perimeter in the back, knotless braids over. And then they rock it for another two weeks and then they remove them. You also want to wear a shower cap when bathing or showering. Um, you can get your hair wet, but again, like I've said in previous videos, make sure you rinse your hair out and then let it dry properly and then go back into the whole maintaining also moisturize your scalp but go back into maintaining it with the silk scarf or a bonnet or a do-rag wear a shower cap this hairstyle took me about six and a half hours um she had it, it mid back as you can see in the beginning and yeah it didn't take that long at all um, the only thing about it is if you want to get waist length, it does add like an extra hour or if she wanted the braids a lot smaller, it would have took another hour as well. So that would have been additional two hours for me, but it all depends on your braider. So if you're ever getting your hair done, always ask how long it will take. Make sure you ask how long the hairstyle will last, how to maintain it and all those good things. Again, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. And let me know what you think so far. Make sure you follow me on all platforms. I usually post the pictures of all my styles all on Pinterest. Instagram. On Instagram, my handle is Slay by Gemma. Everything will be in the description box. All the hair supplies that I use with the links where you can go purchase it. All of my social media platforms. You go follow your girl. Like my stuff, you know, to help your girl grow, you know.
I'm finally on the last spray, but as you can see, because I am at her edges, I am adding in hair a lot sooner because her hair is not as thick around the perimeter, which is basically everyone's head is like that. So yeah. Unfortunately, I was unable to add in the boho curls and show you guys how I did that. If you want to see a video on that, let me know in the comments and I'll either make another video or I'll tag another video. I was actually in a rush and I didn't hit the record button, so I'm sorry about that. But thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Make sure you go and watch my other videos of Flulani hairstyles. I have a ton of them, the flip over, all of that. And thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace and hair grease. Bye.